So, headed up to Broken Quattro's place tonight. Going to um, pull the harness out of a S4. Um, we're going to be able to use that harness for the Ur Quattro. So, uh, Dave will probably give me a hand at that. I'm sure he's going to want to uh, barter trade for some time-lapse video footage from the other night. So, we'll see about that. And then uh, make a quick stop for Dr. Pepper. Just pulled up to Broken Quattro's place. And tell me if this is not like where Audis go to live. You know, look at this. And we're here, CV Axle Express, pick up the axles for the Urquattro. I'm just dropping off some stuff at uh, Powder Coater um, before I want to put the engine back together. So I want to get all this stuff done black, just like it was from the factory. So we got the oil pan gaskets today. We're gonna use the windage tray out of the AAN, uh, put a gasket on top, gasket on bottom, and then um, got our new oil pan to go in. And this just allows us to, gives us a little more clearance uh, so we can be able to run an AC compressor and some of the auxiliaries. Got the clutch on. He ain't got that all done. South Bend stage due endurance, um, flywheel. It's kind of a mix and match of a bunch of different parts. 3B, 7A, the AAN. And then um, we're hoping to be able to get all this in tonight now that we have all the parts. We had to use uh, needle bearing. What was that out of a uh, 3B, 7A needle bearing? Yeah. Um, and then the throw out bearing from the Urquattro 10 valve we had to put in there. So 
mix and match of a bunch of different stuff to make this thing be able to bolt up to the original or quattro transmission and subframes all built put together ready to go so hopefully uh, Ian and I will have all this assembled and in the car tonight and then start being able to figure out the AC system wiring we're gonna do the harness out of the coupe gt so we'll cut a section out there you can kind of follow the line and then this fuse box will go in place of that and the fuse panel will be sitting up top here all the wires run down We've got the a and engine harness that will plug into all of that coupe gt stuff um, one issue that we're gonna face is the Ur Quattro transmission runs a um, manual speed sensor and the Coupe GT digital dash is all digital. So we need to, to swap Dave um, Pecoraro. He's got a digital one and then we're gonna have to build a, some sort of adapter to be able to put the digital one onto the the manual pickup because uh, the diameter is different. So, wish us luck tonight. We'll put this on um, video mode to what do they call it? Slow motion? Not slow motion. Fa fast motion. And you can be able to watch us go at this.
So we got a little ways along and came across a little issue. Um, we had to recess the case here on the transmission in order to have room for both the crank position sensor and then there's the impulse sensor and they mount on the same bracket that, that goes on right here, kind of kitty corner offset there and eliminates this top one here which uh, hits on the flywheel teeth there. So we got, got rid of that and then had to recess this transmission. So. Can you see me now? Okay, so just so you guys know, it's been two days now assembling this engine and transmission, and I think we might have the problem figured out, but let me give show you. So you have uh, the input shaft on the transmission. It sinks down into a needle bearing. That needle bearing is pressed into the uh, 3B flywheel and it's not, when we go to put the transmission on, it's not actually feeling like it's sliding in smooth. It's kind of binding up. So there's got to be, there's some issue in there um, and it might actually be the throwout bearing or the fork um, it might just not be sitting right to be able to actually let everything go together so you know we're left with this gap the bolts are not you can see they're not tight they're just there to hold it in place as a guide for us but um, I'm gonna pull it again now and see if we can figure out what's going on but uh, we got the oil pan on there and what else we do I'm gonna put a a little bit cooler thermostat in it um yeah that's that's where we're at with that uh everything else here is just like before we did notice that um you can see here we've got this little dimple this front corner at some point was hit into something and it's got a buckle on top here the bottom is is smooth and nice. So once we get the engine, transmission in, subframe, um, gonna roll this thing up and take it down to my buddy's frame rack. He's the master of straightening cars. And we're gonna have him go ahead and straighten this thing out. Uh, his, his name's Mammoth Scum on Instagram. Look him up, he's got I would say the nicest Mark III GTI in the country. So definitely worth checking out. Paint job is immaculate. It's got this like green with metal flake and it just gorgeous. So well, yeah, so that gives you an idea. So thanks for checking in today and the updates. I wish I had more to say. After we get this pulled apart and put back together, I will uh, tell you what the real problem was.